Christian Anderson, the 2020 Trailblazer Award winner at the uh, Mira Awards. Christian, congratulations uh, on the uh, really richly deserved uh, honor. If you could uh, give us a little uh, snapshot. You were educated here in Indiana, but then moved away, moving back four years ago. We'll talk about a number of the companies you've been involved with in, in, in creating. But talk about uh, a little bit about that, that history and your connection to Indiana. Yeah, I'd love to. Thanks for having me on the show, Gary. Always great to be with you. Yeah, I, I was. I came to Indiana in 1992 to go to Anderson University, and for the most part, took a little time off to move back to my home state of Arkansas. But in my heart, never left. So I, uh, after school, I started a design firm called Studio Science, and really from that platform was able to get involved and partner with so many amazing people and help start so many amazing businesses and other initiatives. Um, Lessonly, Tinderbox, which ultimately became Octave, Visible, uh, Pathagility. These are a handful of companies we launched out of the, the studio with some great partners. And me and my partner, Mike Fitzgerald, started a seed stage venture fund called Gravity Ventures about 10 years ago that went on to raise six micro VC funds and got to play a small role in helping kind of start and scale uh, a number of Indiana-based technology companies. Um, and of course, that all culminated about five years ago when me and my three wonderful partners, uh, Mike, Eric, and Scott, uh, along with the tremendous team, launched High Alpha. Talk about High Alpha, that venture studio, which I think is a great example of where momentum is and where it's headed in the tech community in Indiana. Talk about High Alpha, the number of companies that organization uh, has already spun out. Yeah, High Alpha is a venture studio. Uh, one of the first in the world. And what we seek to do is marry up uh, kind of an operating company that starts new businesses. So think about a company that starts companies with a, with a venture fund. And it has been so much fun. It's been so gratifying. Uh, I get to work with some of the smartest people in the country on challenges that mean a lot to me and to the people I work with. We've, we've launched 20 companies wow. since we started in 2015, those companies have gone on to employ seven, 800 people um, and has attracted really a tremendous amount of capital and maybe more importantly, even attention to what is happening uh, in Indianapolis. I think High Alpha um, has a spotlight shown on it frequently, but the reality is there are so many people and so many tremendous businesses being built and scaled and funded in our city. And it's fun to play some role in helping shine a light on that. Christian, you mentioned your home state of Arkansas, where you are right now as we're doing uh, this interview, but you are very passionate, uh, really an evangelist for technology and innovation in Indiana, in central Indiana, the entire state. You really feel strongly that Indiana's position uh, in the tech world uh, is a strong one with uh, great potential for growth. Yeah, ab absolutely. As I, as I like to say, uh, myself and my three partners, we did not start High Alpha in Indianapolis because we happen to have Indiana driver's licenses. We, we believe that there was a real arbitrage opportunity, a real opportunity to grow and scale and leverage so many of the remarkable indigenous assets in the state, not the least of which is just talent. The sheer volume of highly educated, smart, ambitious people coming out of our states colleges and universities, the preponderance of large technology companies that have moved to Indianapolis to make that their corporate home and the talent that, that attracts from out of state, you know, really created what we thought was the perfect opportunity, really fertile soil to grow and scale the types of businesses that we're launching. I, I, now, I do happen to have an affection for the state that transcends its talent base for sure, um, but, but, but one of the things that really makes the business go is the ability to attract and retain remarkable talent, much of which is from the state. Christian Anderson is the 2020 Mira Awards Trailblazer Award winner, richly deserved honor. Christian, we're lucky to have you in the tech community here in Indiana. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks, Gary. Appreciate the time.